All right, what's going on guys? Uh, we're back here today. We're gonna be reviewing a new sleeping pad I just purchased. So for a long time now, I've been wanting to upgrade my sleeping pad. Currently I have the Climate Static V insulated. I just find it's kind of thin, it's, it's small, it's not very warm. Um, so I wanted to upgrade to something. So I was did a lot of research and I'm not looking to buy a really expensive pad. I just don't have the budget for it. So instead, I uh, found this very good alternative. Um, it seems to be very warm. Um, it's big because I'm 6'2", um, so I wanted something long that my legs wouldn't hang off of. And it's very cheap. So let me show you guys here real quick. All right, guys, so here's the sleeping pad I just purchased. It is the JR Gear Traverse Core um, insulated version. Um, so it's a very large sleeping pad. It's 78 inches long and I believe 25 inches wide. Um, it has an R value of five. Um, it has the Primaloft uh, synthetic insulation inside. So you can feel it's quite thick actually. You can feel the insulation in there. Um, it's got reflective on the bottom and then just this orange color on the top. Um, it's got one valve, as you can see, and you can actually, uh, if you want to let some air out there to make it softer, you can. Um, then this, you just pull this tab to deflate it. Um, yeah, so I just actually did the measurements with a tape measure, and it is exactly 78 inches long um, and 25 inches wide, so that is accurate based on the website. Um, I'm 6'2", and I can lie down on it um, pretty much. My legs don't hang off at all, as you can tell. My head still has a lot of room. And then my legs are still on it, so no worries there. Um, this also has quite a bit of loft on it. As you can tell, they uh, say I think it's three and a half inches of loft which is quite a bit. Um, when I was sleeping on it, it seemed quite comfortable. It's got the horizontal baffles across, um, which seemed to support my weight pretty well. I like to deflate it a little bit. Like, as you can tell, it's not super tight or anything. And it, it's actually a little more comfortable if you let some air out. Um, honestly, this seems like a pretty solid sleeping pad. So just to go over some of the specs, um, this pad is by no means ultra light. Um, I was kind of going more for something large that was comfortable um, for me because I, I tend to sleep on my side and uh, I don't sleep very well on those really narrow mummy pads. So this is the extra large uh, rectangular version of the pad. Um, and this this one is one pound, three, 13 ounces. So it's like, I think it's around 850 grams is the, the translation, but um, yeah, so it's not super ultra light by any means, but um, it's very comfortable and it's light enough and it packs down small. I'll show you guys in a bit here um, once I get it all packed up. But yeah, no, it's 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 a great pad, it seems like. Um, I've yet to try it outside, um, so I can't really say as to the warmth, um, but I can feel the Prime Loft insulation. And uh, they actually have a chart on their website, which maybe I can just put up for you guys here, um, that shows um, where they, they put more insulation kind of in the middle. Um, where your uh, back and uh, your hips are kind of uh, seated. So you get more warmth in the critical areas. Um, yeah, they also offer, uh, JR Gear offers some more options on the website, some smaller versions. This was the largest pad they had, um, which is what I wanted being kind of a, a larger guy. And I wanted the insulated version being in Canada. We tend to get, even in our summers, it's pretty cold. It gets to around zero every night in the mountains. So I wanted something that would withstand that. I haven't tried it outside. Um, and one thing I did notice, I don't know if you guys can see that, but kind of right along here, the edges, you can kind of see the insulation kind of seems to stop at a certain point. You can really see it on that side and kind of a few spots kind of here. So not that that's probably a big deal, like the Prima Loft is still kind of in the, you're not going to be on this part of the pad very much, but um, some of the, the insulation seems to be 
kind of in odd places as you can see there as well um so yeah I, i'll have to try it outside to give maybe a full review i'm just kind of giving the initial unboxing but um so far i seem i'm very happy um it seems pretty solid it's got uh ripstop material um i believe it's pretty pretty waterproof as well so and i did just buy actually this small little pump here this flex tail you basically need some sort of pump i tried blowing it up just with my lungs and it did take quite a while as it is quite a large and thick sleeping pad so you you probably want to purchase some sort of pump also to prevent mold with the insulation inside as well all right guys so there it is all packed up that's kind of the size of it compared to a gatorade bottle so it's still pretty small considering the size of the pad and how warm it is with all that insulation it's definitely still backpacking size i'm going to be bringing this on quite a few trips i think just froze my butt off too many times with my climate static v um so yeah there it is 878 grams total weight um should be oh so yeah one pound 15 ounces so yeah very very accurate pretty much there on the ad it said one pound 13 ounces so maybe the bag adds a couple extra ounces but pretty accurate weight so still very light can definitely take it backpacking um, it also came with this kit, I forgot to show you guys, just some glue, um, an extra valve, that's like an extra valve release, and then just instructions and a uh, little ripstop patch. So, yeah guys, JR Gear, Insulated Traverse Core, um, my initial thoughts, it seems like a great sleeping pad, um, I'm sure it'll be quite warm with that Primaloft insulation. Um, it's pretty light, pretty small. It's, it's, it's a large size. Good for me as a six, two guy. Um, and then, yeah, I think, uh, it was also very inexpensive. I paid 75 Canadian dollars. I bought this at a, on an AliExpress sale here in Canada. Um, it's, I think usually around a hundred Canadian dollars. Um, but got it for 75 Canadian, which is absurd considering comparable sleeping bags, um, at outdoor shops like the Big Agnes or uh, Nemo, things like that, they're all over 200 Canadian dollars. So, yeah, it's a pretty good budget buy for me, and I'm excited to use it um, backpacking this upcoming summer. Thanks, guys.